The internet has forever changed us as a species. We're no longer just one human race. We still have the human race, those of us that are normal, but then we also have this branch of the human race called the troll race. And when I say troll race, I'm not talking about fantasy movies like the Lord of the Rings. I'm talking about internet trolls. We're talking about those people that exist just to make other people angry. So the internet really has become this cesspool of anger, negativity. It's filled with all of these angry people whose sole mission in life, whose sole purpose in life is to make you angry so that they have somebody else to be angry with. We call these kinds of people trolls because in the early days of the internet, that's what we called these people. And when I say the early days of the internet, I'm talking about even before the World Wide Web was a thing. So going back, you know, before uh, when the World Wide Web first became a thing was around 95, 96. But even before that, we had things like Usenet News groups. And on Usenet, there was a rule. You know, we, we didn't feed the trolls. That was the number one rule because anytime you have a community, there's always going to be some trolls that show up. And those people that show up just to stir up shit. <laughs> they're there just to say something outlandish, provocative. They, they're trying to get a rise out of people. They want people to be angry with them. They want people to be angry at them. They want to start some kind of strife, some kind of conflict. We call these people trolls. And the number one rule in the early days of the internet was never feed the troll. When they show up, you immediately know they're a troll by what they're saying. You know, they start saying this crazy stuff and you never respond. If you don't respond, then you cut off their food supply. The, the troll is like a crack addict, right? He's a, he's a crack fiend and he's always looking for his next fix and his fix is anger. It's negativity. That's his drug. And if you don't respond to him, you cut him off from that drug. In the early days of the World Wide Web, one of the most common types of websites were bulletin boards or web forms. And the number one rule on a web form was also don't feed the trolls. Because some of these web forms, even in the early days of the internet, some of these web forms or bulletin boards had tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of active members, which such a big community naturally is a target for a troll. So almost on a daily basis, sometimes an hourly basis, you would see a troll show up and post something, especially political or religious in nature. And it was obvious that they're trying to be provocative. They're deliberately trying to be offensive. They're trying to generate some kind of negative response from you. And that's the sign of a troll. And again, the number one rule was to never feed that troll. On a web form, you could actually be in trouble yourself by responding responding to a troll. They could actually ban you for feeding the troll, right? For the number one rule, let the troll post, don't respond. A moderator would eventually see the troll post and they would take action. And of course that action would be banning the troll. And you can't let trolls get to you. You can't let anything that they post on the internet actually make you angry because that's what they're counting on. Remember the troll, he feeds on anger, negativity. He feeds on conflict, on strife. He feeds on all of that negative emotion. And if you respond in a negative way, you're actually feeding him. You're giving him that drug, you know, that hit that he needs. In some way, these trolls, these losers, these lowlifes, the, the only thing they have in life is this trollish behavior. The only way they can validate their existence in life is to make other people angry. And if you deny them that, then they cease to exist, that they go away, or at least you strip them of any power they may have had over you. The thing you have to realize with these internet trolls is that they are damaged people. They're emotionally damaged. They're failures at life typically, and that's why they're angry, right? They've failed at their jobs. They failed at school. They failed at their relationships. They're losers. They're low lives, and they know it, and they're angry about it, and that's why they're filled with all this hate and all of this rage, and the only thing that this kind of angry person can do to make themselves feel better is to try to tear somebody else down because if they can make you angry and hateful and miserable then they, at least somebody else is in the same situation as they are so you know their plight their situation in life is not so bad now because look at this other guy you know he's worse off than me unfortunately as the internet has grown in size over the years you know the internet has become so big and because it's become so centralized you know just a handful 
handful of sites control most of the internet. Unfortunately, the rule about not feeding the trolls has largely been forgotten. Now the rule on the internet, especially with the rise of social media, the rise of sites like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and Reddit, no longer is the rule don't feed the trolls. Now the rule is engage with the trolls. Feed the trolls. In fact, become one of the trolls. These social sites don't even try to stop the trolls anymore. In fact, some of these social sites are so big that they are largely unmoderated, which is part of the problem. In the early days of the web on bulletin boards and web forums, no matter how big they were, there was always real human beings, a moderation team. And if you needed more moderators, you hired more moderators or people volunteered. And there was always real human beings that looked at each and every post and they would spot the trolls and they would get rid of them. So the don't feed the troll rule, it actually really worked. It was actually very effective. But now, because some of these sites like Facebook and Twitter are so massive and there's no way that you could have enough human moderation on them, uh, again, they're largely unmoderated. Nowadays, these social networks, they can't even stop all the automated spam bots, much less real life bad actors like trolls. And this kind of trollish behavior, the troll mindset, it's affected the internet to a point where now, even within our free and open source software communities, we're starting to see these trolls infiltrate certain organizations. In the last few years, we've seen a lot of political division within certain FOSS projects. And a lot of this stuff really is nothing more than just your standard run-of-the-mill internet trolls. Because of the extreme political nature and the political division within the world today, a lot of people don't realize it. But honestly, it's the same kind of trollish behavior that we saw in decades past. It's the same kind of troll behavior. Really, it's, it's the same emotionally damaged, angry people that exist simply to make other people angry. That's all they're doing. They're using politics as a tool, but it's not necessarily politics itself that is the problem is again it's that these people are emotionally damaged people and for whatever reason you know they feel like they have to tear down other people in order to make themselves feel better that they wrap their troll posts in political ideology or social issues. They're just using a convenient tool uh, where politics and religion are often very divisive in nature. So obviously that is a best friend to the troll. In a world that is so deeply fractured politically, really politics is the easiest weapon for any troll to grab. And it's important that each and every one of us recognize this. We, we should recognize a troll post when it happens. We should recognize somebody that is an obvious troll. Anybody that it is obviously and deliberately trying to make other people angry with a political post. That person's a troll. Don't feed them. And please don't get angry at that person. Again, a troll, they're a troubled person. They're a damaged person. You should not be angry or negative towards such a person. And you should actually feel sorry for these kinds of people. And when you start feeling sorry for these people, you'll actually have a little empathy for them. You'll feel sorry for them and you'll want to help them. And the best thing you can do to help these kinds of people is to deny them that drug that they are addicted to, which is that anger. In other words, stop feeding the trolls. Peace, guys.